Hey Robert, can you get that? King, he comes can with you, uh, can you answer it? I'm kind of, kind of busy. My chalupas I defend. Yeah, Robert, the we're, we're done with the chalupas now, okay? With his arms of modern steam-powered engine of the future. Six ninety-nine for a value meal. Six ninety-nine for a value meal. Aww. Hey, you've reached the cloak, private investigator and lifelong fighter of the international communist conspiracy. How may I help you? Hey. How's it going? Meet me at the pier at midnight. We will stare out at the ocean one last time. What? What do you mean, what? I mean, what? Hey, Antonio. Uh, no. This is York. I called a second ago and you hung up on me. Your name is Yurik? Yeah. Is that a Russian name? No. It's Polish. Good. Between you and me, I think the Ruskies need a good kick in the balls. Right in the testicles, the source of their kami power. I need your help. It's my iguana, Joshua. He's joined a cult. Hmm, yes. Well, Antonio, do you have any idea which cult has ensnared your poor lizard? Yes. It's the National Libertarian Party. This could be serious. Like AIDS serious. When was the last time you saw your iguana? About a week ago. They won't let him come back home. I'm lonely here with all my, my furniture and purchased goods. All my objects. Depressing, despondent, woeful, other synonyms for sad. I'll help you find your economically conservative and socially liberal iguana good sir, don't you worry. Yay! You filled me with happiness, my sweet walrus. I do my best to fill things. Now our services are $25 an hour and an extra $100 when we find your gator. I'll give you $5 and the biggest hug you've ever seen. Well, you got yourself a slap happy butt smack and deal, good sir. And by the way, we don't take Andorra currency. Yeah, no, I was just gonna pay in regular dollars. I don't even know what Andorra is. It's a principality between France and Spain. The people there are dirty. Right. Well, let me give you my information here. What kind of a world do we live in, Robert? We've gotta do something about it. Okay. Mr. Mitchum, we've got totally serious work to do. Antonio and his fine, fine iguana are counting on us, and that's a bond, Robert. A bond which sucks on the chocolatey nipple of time. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's go grab a board game. Tonight's family fun night. Can you believe this, Robert? I believe in America. My precious childhood is being raped right in front of my eyes, and by Eskimos, no less, with their cold, feely hands. Look at all these toys. They're all covered in protective, kid-friendly safety foam. You can throw a kid down the stairs and he'll be fine. Why do you need... Why do you need safety foam? And worse yet, they're all set to brainwash kids into believing things like friendship, sharing, and leading a healthy lifestyle. Oh hey, it's Henry, the health time carrot burger, and he's come over to give you half of his juice box, because he's just nice like that. Hey Joe, we've done it! Pull the hatch forward! What year is it, good sir? This isn't what kids need. Kids need menacing toy tanks with sharp metal edges that slice through their tender young skin when they play just a little too rough. They need commandos with attachable cigarettes for putting out in the eyes of their enemies. They need BB guns and hatchets and vials of goat urine. Hey, I uh, need any assistance. You may just be able to assist me, good sir. Can you tell me why you support this obvious communist plot to corrupt our youth and turn them into a bunch of take-only-what-you-need, love-the-earth pansies? Yeah, you'll want to take that up with management. No, oh, this goes much higher than management. This goes straight to the top of your twisted corporate ladder. You know, I wonder if all these sudden outbursts are going to have an adverse effect on my blood pressure. I mean, I, I, I'm not feeling too well lately. I, I mean, I don't take really good care of myself as it is, and I don't have medical insurance, so, you know. You! Yes, me! Can I help you? Are you the CEO of Toy Barn? That I am. I'm enjoying my window. And that's what you get. You get my acts of capitalism right in your face. Huh. By now, as a communist, he should have either dusted or turned into a giant red squid of some sort. Anything, uh, interesting in there? Hmm, he's got a Temple Recommends card. Oh, well, crap. He's not a communist, he's a Mormon. Which explains his company's bizarre need to make everything obnoxiously bright and friendly. And well-dressed. Someone? Was there... Like any more to that statement, or- Shut up! Just shut your mouth! 
All right, well, we gotta get his body out of the building. Oh, how about seafood for lunch? I like shrimpies. Yes, and I myself am in the mood for some... delicious crab meat. All right, seafood it is. Hello, fine citizen. You need not worry, because I, the CEO of this very company, am going out to procure some delicious edible food substances. Would you like me to pick you up a cabbage, or maybe some eggplants? You've got an axe in your face. Ha! Well, you've got an axe in your face. No. Ah, oh, the winds of March. Or is it the tides of March? I think the winds of March is a song by Journey. <sighs> oh man, we forgot about Family Fun Night. I want to be the battleship. No! No! You're always the battleship. You can be the shoe. I want to be the battleship for once. You can be the Meridian Vaz. The, the what? The Meridian Vaz. Um, yeah, I don't understand what you're... Someone's coming. Hey, how's it going? Hey, it's a... It's a rather swell night, isn't it? I'm a cop. I'm an officer of the law. <laughs> Why, yes, you are. Uh, you are. And don't let anybody tell you that you're not. I enforce the law, and laws, and codes, and statutes, and other things that require the enforcement of a police department employee. Why, that is in fact your very job description. Yeah, so it looks like you may be breaking some laws out here tonight. <laughs> well, let's see. I've murdered the CEO of a toy company, and his faithful floor security guard, and now I'm burying their axed up bodies in the former grave of a Mr. P. Whittlestone. The late Mr. P. Whittlestone I've dug up and thrown into a canal across the street to make proper room for his casket's new residence. Or did I? I might be completely innocent. Dearest me, I've forgotten my tulips. Well, I do think that there are indeed a series of laws that have been broken here. Holy freedom fries! Quickly, Robert, run! Well, it seems the law has been laid down, Robert. What's the law? Harsh and unforgiving. And now we're on the lam, outcasts of society, pushed away from the large, warm bosom of Lady America. It's not fair, Robert. I want that bosom. Well, you did axe up two innocent people. Yeah, but one of them was a Mormon. Freaking Mormons in their freaking dress shirts and ties and secret underwear and always ringing my doorbell at dinner time when I'm trying to eat my delicious crab meat. Ah oh, well, what's done is done. You can't linger in the past. Huh, I wonder who that is. Hey, would you like to buy some jumbo shrimp? Are you serious? I'm hiding out in a clock tower. What do you think? Oh, this is some high quality shrimp I've got here. Some tasty, tasty shrimp, none of which I've licked. Uh, no, we don't want any shrimp. Oh, but I like shrimpies. Robert, we're not buying any shrimp. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, hey, uh, sorry to bother you again. Uh, would you happen to have, like, a fork or something that I could buy? Um, I, I have this can of spaghetti, but nothing to eat it with. Maybe a, maybe a fork or a, a spoon. Oh, if you have a fork. All right, that's it. We're leaving. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me do one thing before we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, did you see that? He, he just, like, collapsed, like, instantly. Oh. Taking a picture with my mind. That one's going to the memory book. <laughs> it's always been like a, a dream of mine to shoot someone from a clock tower. I just, I, I never thought I'd get the chance, you know? Well, another day, another case solved. Hello? Hey, did you find my iguana? Antonio, communism is a mistress that you later find out is a mister, and no number of salt baths will ever rinse you of the shame. <laughs> Hey, Robert, you ever wonder if, like, somewhere out there in space, there's another planet, like, exactly like ours, and, like, another another office with, like, people in it exactly like us, except they're, like, tacos, like, like, taco people? Chalupas? Yes, sexy, sexy chalupas. And I would be the sexiest chalupa of them all. Hey, Robert, can you get that? Whee!